Well, KR market witnessed chaotic scenes yet again today. The BBMP arrived with the bulldozers and raised down several stalls of the vendors. Fierce protests, angry vendors, admin policemen. These were the scenes witnessed at KR market today. And as one can see, the fight was between the vendors and Palakia officials. Palakia officials arrived with JCBs and cleared the area which the vendors selling leafy vegetables had occupied. The vendors were infuriated since it was not just the place of business they lost, they also lost all the vegetables they had brought along with them for sale today. But the Palakia has a different tale to narrate. They say that the vendors had occupied the area illegally, which was causing inconvenience to pedestrians and others who arrived at the market. When asked about the troubled vendors, the mayor has promised to provide them with an alternative. The vendors now don't know how to carry on with their business. There are over a thousand vendors selling leafy vegetables and the new place promised by the Palake can accommodate only a hundred. With no solution in sight, looks like the TIF is set to continue for a long time. Pavitra for News 9, Bengaluru. And well, uh, perhaps the stars had not foretold what would be in store for him. A self-styled astrologer, Kumar, was beaten up black and blue by irate localites at Kurubara Halli Circle. Apparently, the astrologer would ask his women devotees to visit him at night and would even engage in obscene phone calls with them. Well, he would demand huge sums of money from women to perform pujas and when things went a lot out of hand for the women devotees, they decided to take control of the situation and look at how they took charge of the situation. So, I don't have a problem with my father. I don't have a problem with my father. So, I don't have a problem with my father. imagination <laughs> So, Avanga, you and Bakela detail got a Tashna, Nani Li, Namurgirna, Tostin, but you and Helena, Udigiri, Udigiri, Jensi and Riala, Jensi Shaki, Helena, Henmaka, Eltin, and Eltana. 
ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅದು ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಇದು ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬಟ್ಟೆ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಹಾಕೊಳಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ನೈಟಿನೆ ಹಾಕೋಬೇಕು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನು ಆಗ ಹೇಳಿ ಕೆಟ್ಟ ಕೆರೆದಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಮುಟ್ಟೋದು ನಿಂಬೆಣ್ಣ ಹಸ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಕೈ ಹಾಕೋದು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾತಾಡೋದು ಒಬ್ಬ ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಳ ಅಥವಾ ಒಬ್ಬ ಗಂಡನೇ ಸೆಕ್ಷುಯಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಮಾತಾಡಲ್ಲ ಇವನ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಮಾತಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಏನಕ್ ಮಾತಾಡ್ಬೇಕೇನೋ ಅದಲ್ರಿ ಈಗ ಹುಡುಗಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ನೈಟಿ ಹಾಕ್ಸದ ಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಸಹ ಬಿಚ್ಚಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತದ ನಂತಿರ ನೀವು ವಿತ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಇದನ ಹತ್ರ ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಏನೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರ ಅವಳು ಮಾಡಿದಾನ ಅಂತ ಬಟ್ಟೆ ಇನ್ನೇರು ಬಟ್ಟೆ ಸಹ ಇರಬಾರ್ದು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಳಕ್ ನಾಚಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಳಿಗೆ ಬಟ್ ನಾವೇನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಇದೇ ತರ ಇನ್ನು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಳು ಮೋಸ ಆಗಬಾರ್ದು ಇನ್ನೇ ಹೇಳ್ ಸಹ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಬಂದ್ ಕೊಡು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ ಹುಡುಗಿನ ರೂಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಳಿಸಿದಾನೆ and well we have seen numerous instances of gullible students being cheated in the name of medical seats the latest to join the list is the presidency college of nursing located near hennu road a family from kerala is alleging that they have been cheated of 20 lakh rupees by the college promising an mbbs seat shivam kutti who wanted to get his daughter admitted to mbbs course came in contact with an agent by the name chako soon chako introduced kutti to one biju simon who is the chairman of the presidency college of nursing After a few days Biju Simon allegedly took 20 lakh rupees through DD and check and promised to get Rashmi a medical seat months passed by but there was no medical seat and the Biju and Biju Simon in fact pushed the matter further promising a seat in one of or the other medical colleges he did not return Rashmi's marks card and neither did he respond to Kutti's calls so Kutti decided to lodge a police complaint soon after which Biju Simon went up sconding the Kutti is stranded with no money and his daughter's future in jeopardy Well, another uh, incident that has uh, gone on to question the very intention of parents when they give money in exchange of seats and on the other hand the intention of colleges that uh, accept money to dole out seats to interesting candidates and here in Bengaluru yet another incident has come to light where uh, a student and her father have been fooled into giving a whopping amount of 20 lakh rupees for a medical seat but neither has the money returned nor has the seat materialized and added to that even important documents like marks cards have gone missing when well, handling emergency situations will be a lot easier henceforth the state government has finally revamped the existing ambulance service in the state take a look at this garage staff busy working on new ambulances This was a scene witnessed at a service center in Bomasandra. New ambulances will finally hit the road soon after repeated complaints regarding the shortage of ambulances during emergency situations. As per authentic sources, there are about 517 ambulances in the state, but the number is way too less compared to the population of the state. 517 ambulances are just not sufficient to handle a population of about 6 crores. The state government has now decided to add 198 new ambulances to the fleet of the existing 517 vehicles. This addition of 198 ambulances definitely will help us to uh, serve more and more people in the time to come. So because at the beginning like around the Karnataka population year back in 2008 it was something like around 5.92 crores. So for every 1.2 lakh population one ambulance based on that 517 ambulances were launched. and this addition of 198 ambulances definitely will bring down that uh, ambulance uh, yeah, population uh, per ambulance ambulance are already started uh, coming and the fabrication work is in progress so in couple of months time all these uh, ambulances will be launched additionally government is also planning to replace the old ambulances like our ambulances are 5 years old and most of them are already covered more than 2 uh, uh, 1/2 to 4 lakh kilometers you know the, they are due for the replacement The state government is receiving funds for 100 ambulances from the central government. The brand new ambulances are expected to hit the road in a month's time. The health minister sounded ecstatic when our correspondent spoke to him on the issue. As we had promised in the budget, we have revamped the ambulance service in the state. The new ambulances are ready to hit the roads. The central government has come forward to give us grants to acquire new ambulances. Finally the ambulance service is going to be put on track and it will certainly help the people of Karnataka. Pemmayamaliyanda for news 9 Bengaluru.